Hi guys, Iron Cameraman is here. Today we're going to discuss episode 73 of Skibidi Toilet, and I'm going to tell you what to really expect there. Because the thing is, there's an even greater increase in fake leaks on the internet that are misleading viewers. So a little later, I will even tell you about an experiment I conducted to test an interesting hypothesis of mine. I'm talking about this picture, which was recently shared by some popular bloggers, and you'll be surprised when you find out what its original meaning was. And that's not even all. Remember when I analyzed the GIF animation from Da Fook Boom to celebrate 40 million subscribers? There were two details I didn't notice then that had to do with Titans. The thing is, it turns out the cameraman Titan is missing a right wing, and Speakerman Titan doesn't have a second rear speaker available, even though, as we remember, he had one back at the end of episode 72. So he didn't lose it because of the exploding shell from the Astro Juggernaut. And of course, after I noticed this, I had a logical question. Where did this damage come from and who caused it in the future? We'll talk about that today too, and I won't forget my theory from yesterday, which I promise to tell you more about today. And as usual, I will try to back up all my theories with the facts we have and some new official information from Dafuk Boom. So before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, because if we can get 10,000 likes on this video, I will make one more bonus video for you, where I will even try to tell you some interesting information about the 80th episode of Skibidi Toilet, because this is the episode where I have an idea what is going to happen there, and believe me, you will be pleasantly surprised. Anyways, here we go. First of all, let me tell you the only new information we have about episode 73 from Dafuk. He told one of the official YouTubers that 73 episode will be divided into two parts, and also added that it will be released faster than 72 episode, that is, its release will not be in a couple of weeks. And this is very happy. Besides, he said that 74 episode will most likely not be divided into parts. From this, we can conclude that 73 episode will be longer than 74, since it will be divided into parts. Or it could be because the animation is complex and Boom will need more time to create it. Either way, either way, these episodes will focus back on G-Man and Astro Toilets. And in any case, the rematch of G-Man squad with the Astro Toilets army should be expected in episode 74, while episode 73 will most likely be the training where he will be found by the Titans, who in turn will get damaged and most likely won't be able to overpower him. Because I will remind you that in both leaks before part 2 of episode 72, Dafuk Boom hid the number 74. So at the very least, even if they don't come out victorious in the next episode, they definitely won't die. But about episode 74, I have big concerns. I immediately remembered another old, Boom's leak that also had a hidden number in it. We're talking about the scientist leak he showed before the new year, and you all know what happened to him in that ill-fated episode 70? Yeah, he died. This time is different, we see two such leaks at once, so it is possible that one of them will die, not both, and we will know the answer to this question only in episode 74. Anyway, in any case, even taking this into account, 73 episode will be no less interesting, because Boom himself talked about it. And now we are smoothly moving to the plot of the next episode. There most likely most of the scenes will be with the participation of Titans. This was confirmed by Dafuk in my exclusive interview before episode 72. There, as you may remember, I asked if we would see in episode 72 where the Titans would go, where he said no, and it would be in episode 73. And it was confirmed because even in the extra scene, Dafuk Boom didn't show us exactly where the Titans were headed, and just showed us the process of them flying off in their own style, epically in different directions. The GIF animation I mentioned to you a bit at the beginning might be hiding the answer to that question. Basically, the Titans are supposed to get damaged again, so who can do a lot of damage to them? That's right, Astro Toilets and G-Man. Like I said in the last video, if my logic turns out to be correct and the Titans actually split into two flanks, Astro Toilets will most likely break one wing of the cameraman Titan and G-Man will manage to damage the last back column. And now a bit of an addition to yesterday's thought about cameraman's for plunger phrase. That phrase could mean he's going after a secret agent. I said yesterday that he's very angry now 
and ready to kill everyone one by one to find the one. And I agree, it's unlikely to happen in the next few episodes, because such a plot twist can be expected in a major anniversary episode, not in 73 or 74 episodes. Sure, it sounds really weird, but what if he started guessing about the secret agent clandestinely transporting some select agents to the digital world in the form of ghosts? And so we oddly see here one of Dafuk Boom's aides on the mountain watching over the Titan to keep him under control just in case. And there's another crazy theory. Since ghosts, as we know from Red Cameraman, can come back to life and walk when they're in this digital world, and even heal, it's likely that this character is the plunger, and he was somehow able to transmit the Cameraman Titan's signal to go to the coordinates he needed to go to. And to be honest, I didn't want to talk about this secret character yesterday precisely because I have a lot of thoughts about him, and I don't have one theory that I'm sure of. It's more of a guess and nothing more. For example, yesterday I voiced to you the most popular viewer's version that it was Simp Cameraman coming back, and that version makes perfect sense as well. So at this point, there's still too little information to say for sure who it is. Now let's get to the most interesting topic of today. Now on the screen, you see exactly the photo because of which you probably wanted to watch this video and understand whether it is an original or a fake. So let me tell you right away that this leak was made by my friend and I specially ordered such a shot from him to prove to people how easy it is to spread a quality fake leak. And before this experiment, I was wondering how many people would see my creation. And after three days, something interesting happened. You've probably noticed videos like this in your recommendations, where some YouTubers create a fan-made and pass it off supposedly as an original to gain views this way. And one medium channel used my footage for the picture of his video, and he probably didn't even realize that this fake leak I created specifically for this purpose. I don't know if this shot of me has appeared anywhere else, but even if we only take this into account, it turns out that 73,000 people saw it. And as you understand, this shot was taken in honor of April 1st. And to make the experiment honest, I published not from my account in some thematic chat rooms on Skibidi Toilet, so that no one would not guess that I am its author. Otherwise, I would have to immediately tell the truth that it is a fake, and the experiment would not have succeeded. And that's what I want to say. If I was able to spin a fake leak without much effort, then it becomes clear where so many fakes come from. So friends, I advise you to follow only reliable YouTubers who do not spread fakes and write in the titles of their videos that it is a fan-made or analysis. But if you see a video with the exact same title as Dafuk Booms and with an attractive shot of supposedly the next episode, then know that this YouTuber just wants to trick you and make his video look like its creator is Dafuk Boom. But as for fan maids, multiverses, bloopers, and other animations where the creator is not trying to make their content look like another person's content, that's a good thing. Now friends, that's it for now. Be sure to watch my previous video analyzing the extra scene with the TV men, well, and don't forget to watch the analysis of part 2 of episode 72 if you haven't watched it. Bye.